Hey guys, Scrappy K. Sue. I'm here with a D stash on dies now. Um, I've got several different kind. Let's just get started on this one right here. This is a um, boss cut border die. Sorry for the glare. I used it one time and I only did it like up to here because I just wanted like a portion of it. I know I probably could have done the whole thing and just cut it, but oh well. <laughs> Um, but this one is going to be four dollars here. Then I have the Sizzix um, Royal Swirls here. And this one's going to be eight. Okay. And then I have a, a Cuddlebug lot. Uh, well, it's Cuddlebug and Sizzix together. Um, let me just show you what they are. The whole lot um, is going to be six dollars. These are the older type ones. Um, these are the agricultural accents. These are the uh, corner corner dies. That one. Can you tell what it is? Okay, there's that one. And then I have these, which are buttons. All right, and then we have circles different size circles. I don't know the dimensions of them. Um, hang on. Let's see. The biggest one is going to be an inch and a half. So that's an inch and a half. It's an inch and a quarter. This one's probably an inch. Yeah, that's an inch. And three quarters. Okay, and then we have this set, which is actually one die like this. But what you do is you emboss it. You can either um, emboss it first and then cut it out. But I think for these, because of the way they're made, I think you probably need to cut it out and then emboss it. That'd probably be the best way to do it. But, oh well, I'm trying to show you what it is. This one's love. They're stamps. They're meant to be stamps. This one's a baby thingy. And the birthday. Okay. So there's that set. And then this one, the two little swirls here and then this big plate it's got um, labels on it or um, yeah labels the biggest one on here is um, two by three and again this lot is six dollars for all of these Okay, and then we've got this Spellbinders um, decorative labels 34. This one's going to be $10. It's got little pieces in it. Okay. And this is the Spellbinders Fleur de Lis Rectangles, $10. And let's see. Then we have the square one, $10. Then we have a Diversions um, Butterfly. 
Uh, it's still got the little sponge in it. I haven't even used it. I don't remember using it anyway. You need to put that sponge in there um, or you'll never get the pieces out of it. This is, I don't know why they made them like this, but um, you put the sponge on it like this. Oh, well, you've seen the, the sponges on a lot of them, like this one right here. It's got the sponge on it. It just makes it come out easier. I don't know why they don't go ahead and put it on there. I guess they just give you that choice if you want to do that or not. <laughs> Um, but this one right here is going to be $8. Okay, and then I have the Spellbinders um, Feathers on the Wind. Feathers on the Wind. <laughs> um, this one's going to be $5. Okay, and then I have um, Spellbinders daisy heads and this one is five dollars for that one and then i have two of the cut and cut and tuck and whatever you call it <laughs> um this one is the roundabout And this is going to be six dollars. And then I have the spectacular spin, six dollars. I've got like these are duplicates. I've got like four different kind of cut and tucks. And when you do these, they just look so neat. But the only thing, I mean, it's like when if you put it on like a card or something. You don't need to put anything else on there because this is such a focal point that it really doesn't need anything else. Okay, and I think that's it. And I'm going to have some paper as well coming up. So, um, again, U.S. only shipping, PayPal only, friends and family. And um, just let me know down in the comments if you'd like it or not. Thanks guys. Bye.